munchkins and salutations! It's Munchie and today I am just doing a little video about what I tend to find online in articles, especially when I'm doing research or looking up things or thinking about bad cages to review in the future. Today we have presented to you the 8 best hamster cages of 2019. Now this was created at the beginning of the month. Right now it is currently the 18th, but this was created on the 8th, so 10 days ago this was made and this was made by Ashley I'm not gonna pronounce her last name but Ashley K was the one that made this and it says right underneath here our editors independently research tests and recommend the best products you can learn more about review process here you may receive commissions on purchases made from our chosen links so I'm just gonna be reviewing this article here and seeing if this is actually true and or if these people are just being paid to review cages so that those cages can get the money from you guys. I wanna make sure that we as a community let people know what we wanna see and what are the best. So let's see what Ashley's opinion is and they did say they research and test these so I'm hoping that whoever says anything positive when it's actually a negative, especially with the cage size, the wheel and things like that, that like obviously you and I could see that it's bad, but to them they're like, oh, this is fine. <laughs> so it's kind of one of those. But anyways, I just want to show you my shirt that I'm representing today because you know, Owen's my alpha, but just a little shout out there because I, I absolutely love this tea. So heads up, if you hear any noise in the background, the hamsters are awake, they are restless, so just letting you know that's what's happening if you hear anything like that. Alrighty guys, this is the troublemaker. Her name is Echo. She was the hamster that came to us and I have yet to introduce some of these hamsters to you guys because I'm so far behind. But Echo came to us originally from Oregon. She was a transport up here uh, because the owners that got her thought she was just way too much and they ended up dropping her a couple times and she became one of those scared, I don't want to be touched hamsters. And now look at her. She's a hamster that I can actually hold and she's not afraid of me anymore. She is still jumpy. As you can see, she is still very young. So she is one of those hamsters that is going to be very squirmy. If you don't handle her often, which unfortunately I'm in the mood right now. Oops, I'm sorry. I, I just startled you a little bit. I'm currently in a move right now, so I can't take them out as often anymore. I need to find time to do this. I need to find time to do that. I'm literally finding time now to just sit down and make videos for you guys because I've run out of videos to produce. Except for I do have that one fish review. But anyways, currently right now, Echo is in heat. She smells musky. For anybody who owns a female Syrian hamster that smells that musk, you know my woes. But she is wanting to get out because of her energy levels and because of this natural instinct to go and get a mate. The mates are on the other side of the room and she's a little troublemaker that actually escaped. Thanks Echo. Thanks so much for chewing, chewing out of your bin cage and I had to announce that. Of course it's a bin. Of course it's you wanting to go mate you silly little goose but she's currently right now in Elixit and she wants out and that is the cage with bars. So that is what's happening. But this is her here and she is of course available for adoption locally in my rescue in the local surrounding areas of Seattle, Washington. All right, so best overall. So this is what they listed to be the number one pick of their choosing, or at least maybe Ashley's choosing because maybe she was the one that reviewed them all. We don't really know, but we're saying the Spruce Pets, which is the blog article online here, that's what they pick. So their number one pick is Fur Class Hamster Cage. This is the same cage I rescued Bon Bon and Cloud from. Ugh, it's not a good hamster cage. Number one, really? Let's see why. They say buy it on Amazon, it's currently $64, which is only about $12 underneath the preview 528 cage. But let's listen. The fur class hamster cage is a safe, comfortable cage for hamsters of nearly all sizes. Nearly all sizes, so they are saying that not all, but nearly all, okay. But they don't specify, so that makes it a little bit confusing to the consumer. It measures 23.6 by 14.4 by 11.8 inches and provides a convenient and safe habitat for your friend. Okay, safety. All right, I can, I can see that because I personally used it before I donated it. Oh, by the way, I only used it for Perry because she was a mouse and I was slowly upgrading her to a bigger enclosure seeing how she liked it. I hated that cage. This cage features an upper wire frame and a transparent plastic base. The plastic base wasn't too bad. Its two levels are connected by a ladder so your hamster has two environments for play and rest. It also comes fully accessorized and includes a sleeping nest, feeding bowl, water bowl, and exercise wheel, which is too small. Too small the wheel, terrible wheel. This cage is a modular home and is designed to fit into other hamster cages with a connection cap. 
For easy access, this cage features a small door. That small door was not easy access. That door was horrible. I had to try to reach in for a poor aggressive mouse. Well, she's not really aggressive. She's just, she's very nippy. And because you're coming in, like, you know, they're prey animals, but you're coming in from a top. And that's the only way you can get in was from that top, the small top. It was a nightmare. One of the worst features of that whole horrible design. And they're saying for easy access, small door. Really? When it comes times, when it comes times, when it comes times, when it comes time, time, when it comes time for cleaning, the base detaches from the top cage via small wire clips. That was okay. In terms of reviews, the Fur Class Answer Cage ranks highly against competitors. No, it doesn't! Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, monitor. Owners say that this deluxe cage provides everything a hamster needs. No! And prevents them from escaping. Sure, it didn't, it prevented anything from escaping. That is correct. And I've had good results for wire cages. However, hamster owners out there, you don't know. You don't know what's good for you, apparently. This is definitely not it. It's larger than most standard cages. Uh, it is true. It's at, I think, did I measure at, at 286 or 386 last time? It's one of those. The number's gonna pop up here. Yeah, sure, it's better than, say, KT Critch Show, but it's not, it doesn't meet the requirements, so it's not gonna be a good cage. Providing adequate room for your hamster to roam and play. Some reviewers mentioned that they did swap the wheel for a quieter version, but overall, the fur class is a favorite among hamster owners. Oh, I really hate hearing that. That really makes me mad. They ask you how you are. You you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. And hearing that it makes for quieter version, the person who rehomed Cloud and Bonbon to me that came in that enclosure, they said they took out the wheel because they needed a bigger wheel. That woman was at least smart, but she unfortunately gave me a mesh wheel, which is causing problems, especially for hamsters with padding. They have sensitive padding that cause bumble feet because they don't have such big paddings to protect their feet when they're running on hard wire surfaces like that, where they just get squished in between and it gets irritated and inflamed and oh no. Okay, so let's moving on. Here's the preview. Why is it second best? It's second best. Here we go. This is, <laughs> this is what should have been the overall best because this could fit mice in here. It can't fit gerbils, but it can fit steering hamsters and dwarf hamsters. It's completely fine. The bar spacing is perfect. They will not skew from it unless you bend the bars because they can still bend. Keep that in mind for any wire contraption that has bendable bars, it can bend. So you don't want to be wearing them out. But it's best for steering hamster preview pet product. A steering hamster is larger than dwarf hamster and therefore requires more space and large cage than its smaller counterparts. The preview pet products hamster cage measures 32 by, okay, you could read them. But anyways, it is the perfect size for your larger hamster. Ah, I mean, we still need to improve and I do feel bad that we're still using the preview 520 when there could be larger cages out there, but it's okay for right now. It's good for right now. It's what I highly recommend for now, but times do change. So just take this with a grain of salt in the future. We definitely do need bigger enclosures. And for some of my female Syrians that are completely in heat, like Star or like Echo, that just need stimulation all the time, even when you can't provide it all the time with outside play and they're still running around crazy in their enclosures, they definitely need something so much bigger. The narrow 3 8 inch wire spacing still prevents breakouts while the extra deep still prevents breakouts. That makes it sound like an acne product. It prevents breakouts while the extra deep 6 0.25 inch base provides adequate room for your hamster. Definitely good that it adds a pan size in there. Like they're actually adding stuff. So you're able to know that this does make a difference and it does matter. And somebody is drinking their water. Mocha, Mocha, you a thirsty girl. The cage features two entry doors, one on top and one on the side. So you have easy access when it comes time to clean your cage. It comes with a tubby base and a ram, and there's plenty of room to add a variety of toys for exercise and exploration. Owners say the preview cage is one of the best cages for steering hamsters. Not only is it large enough to provide space for exercise and rest, but it's also easy to take part and clean as needed. Many owners transition their steering hamsters from smaller cages to this one and say the changes they observed in activity and energy levels were almost instantaneous. One common complaint from pet owners is that their room can pick up unwanted odors. We do have air purifiers so that you're not breathing that in, but what you should should be doing, which hamster owners might not do all the time, is they need to be able to spot clean weekly, deep clean monthly for that cage. If you're not keeping up with that, then that's your fault. If you're smelling it, that's your fault for not cleaning it. So take responsibility, clean it. But I do want to say this, when the preview cage, when I first discovered it, there was only 
a couple of reviews on it. And ever since I made the preview cage unboxing and the cage cleaning video, it has blown up. And I think it's thanks to my videos that this is actually being showcased in this because I remember last year when I saw the exact same one for the 2000. 18 best cages for hamsters. This was not on it. I believe the fur plasmide has still been on it and a few other cages, but I, I'm really happy that I'm a part of the community that pushes for better care because stuff like this is made possible by people spreading information like this. So thank you guys. Thank you because what you've told me in comments is you've gone out and purchased a preview thanks to me. Thank you guys. I appreciate your feedback and the hamsters probably appreciate it too. This one I've been told to review, so I'm definitely going to review it, but best for dwarf hamster in mid West homes for pets hamster cage. Okay, at least it's in the dwarf hamster category because I've seen this type of enclosure and it's not good. It's just, it's a nightmare, especially with that wheel and how thin that top is. It's really hard to get in and out of certain things from what I've read online and seen in Amazon reviews. Pocket sized dwarf hamsters are smaller than Syrian hamsters and you'll want to purchase a cage that's both safe and escape proof. The Midwest Homes for Pets hamster cage is a smart pick for owners of dwarf hamsters because it's not only safe and secure but it's also full of fun multi-level spaces that might prove too tight for a large hamster. And maybe a winter white if you think of it because winter whites are round and they're really big. A tube connects the lower sleeping level to a set of crisscrossing ramps, an exercise wheel, and a cubby for hiding away. The cage includes ports and connecting rings for those who want to join it to another habitat. And the set also includes a water bottle and food bowl. Overall, it measures 18 by 11. So let's just quickly look this up. And of course, you know, it's 198. So this is like tiny, but munchy, there's a second layer. No, no, that second layer is tiny and thin. It's smaller than just purchasing a 20 gallon long tank and just purchasing a separate mesh lid. Customers love watching their hamsters go adventuring through the Midwest homes for pets hamster cage because you know, it's your amusement, not theirs. They don't need it, we do. It's for our benefit, not theirs, right? Recommending it to anyone who wants to keep their hamster safe and happy. While the assembly can be a bit challenging, it's well worth it for the amount of space it offers and variety of dwarf friendly activities. For $50, this is a load of crap. For under 200 square inches, it's a load of crap. It's even worse than the fur plast. So moving on, best two levels, IRIS, hamster cage. Buy on Amazon. Well, what's the price on Amazon? Because apparently it didn't tell me. Uh, this one's not available right now. Huh, I wonder why. It's like IRIS accidentally might have created cages that could kill hamsters. Huh, gee whiz. I wonder why it's not available. A two-level hamster cage allows you to divide your hamster's environment between rest and play areas, giving them plenty of room to roam. The IRIS hamster cage features a lower area for eating, drinking, and sleeping along with the for exercise. Every single time somebody includes a wheel in their enclosure, it is the wrong, incorrect size, and that looks tiny, so I'm just gonna say no, it's gonna suck. By climbing to the top, they can access one of two openings for easy access. Access, access, access. Let's just add access within like a couple of lines from one another. The cage is made of plastic and wire, providing plenty of breathability. Breathability, oh my gosh, these, these are hilarious. It includes a food dish and water bottle along with the wheel. There is even a removable plastic house on the second level where your hamster can chill out. Again, these are levels. We don't need hamsters in the clouds. They are foragers and they go underground. They need underground space. They do not want to be up in space. Underground space, up in space. Underground space, up in space. Where you want your hamster? Hamster, if you say up in space, then shame on you. IRIS hamster cage measures 17 by 12. Let's just check this out. Oh, that's 204. That's better than what you see above. Anyways, customers say it's a perfect enclosure, easy to assemble, easy to clean, and provides a great view of your hamster as they play. As a bonus, it also is available in fun colors because, you know, your benefit, not the hamster's benefit, your benefit, not the hamster's benefit. Who are you buying this cage for? Yourself! And not the hamster that's supposedly living in it. Best cat proof. Well, we have to have one of these categories, right guys? Because, you know, not any other animal that you have could harm the hamster. No, it's just its own category, cat. Anyways, wear a true proof small animal critter cage. It's $30 on Amazon, you could buy it at Petco, but I think this might actually be the guinea pig enclosure that you need to have a DIY mesh over the wire because the spacing is way too big, I think. I think, I think that's what is happening with this one. Um, because I haven't reviewed it yet, 
I don't personally know, so let's read on. You may think cats and hamsters don't go together, but with the right cage, a responsible pet owner can keep both furry friends in the same household safe and happy. The Wear Chew Proof Small Animal Critter Cage, long title, has sturdy, narrow wire bars that keep curious cats' paws away and hamsters safe. Actually, any sort of wire opening cage will allow the cat to possibly injure and or just poke <laughs> in the face your hamster. Uh, it is so possible. You Really, any sort of wire can still allow a cat to go inside, especially when their claws retract. You know, they go forward and then they go back, and then they go forward and then they go back, and they can fit in between wires and they can go back. Best cat proof, ladies and gentlemen. 300, so it's a lot better than everything else you've seen, but it's still not enough. Ah, uh, anyways, owners love how spacious the wire cage is, noting that it's large enough to fit a combination of tunnels and ramps. So here's the next category that we're probably just gonna break, uh, breeze through, because we all know tank topper's a bad idea. You don't want to have mesh at all. You don't need space up uh, up here. You don't need space up there. You need space down below, nice bedding, not in the sky, down below. So we're just gonna breeze through this. I've already told you guys, no, 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 bad, bad, bad. Some hamster owners swear by using a wire topper on top of an aquarium tank. If you swear by it, I am ashamed of you. To create a multi-level playground for their hamster. If you want to give this a try, the KT My First Home Tank Topper helps you convert a standard 10 gallon tank into a multi-level cage. Do not use a 10 gallon tank for any hamsters. That's where poor Xena and her friend Goldie came from. Two adult Syrian hamsters living together for 10 months, bite wounds galore. Do not do it. That is the worst idea. I am ashamed. I am mad. I hate people. This coated metal wire cage topper comes with safety ramps, a food dish, a water bottle, and hideout so all you need is a glass tank. So in this one, it's not like the Petco's you and me tank topper. This one actually has solid platforms, so they're not wire platforms. However, you don't need this. Best cage accessory. Oh no, it's KT. Okay, so first off, we're just gonna breeze on through this one. I'm not gonna even read it. KT, their tubing is so tiny and small that it doesn't really fit Syrians at all, and it barely fits some of the larger dwarf hamsters. This is a death trap, and these tubes only have tiny little holes, so it's harder to breathe. If they pee in there, it's harder to clean. It's just a nightmare. You don't need it. And if you actually get it, you see how tiny the actual dome on top is. It's stupid to get this. This is not a good cage accessory. You want to know what I would have put for a cage accessory? A good size wheel and or a good hide and or maybe the Night Angel line on Amazon. That's a really good line of climbing toys that is enrichment. This is not enriching. This this is nightmarish. So thank you guys so much for reviewing the Spruce Pets page with me about the best cages for 2019. The only one in there that's the best cage in 2019 is the Preview 528, but it's sad because in the United States, we don't have cages like the United Kingdoms unless you get them imported and that costs you about $200 or more. It is insanely pricey. But just for now, we are trying to make progress here in the United States. Slow, painful process. So people like in Germany and the United Kingdom please forgive the United States for having horrible cages but hopefully with education like these videos we can teach people not to go after these cages that are bad for their little animal because of course hamsters are beginner pets so if you're a beginner you're not gonna know daily squat not yet at first but then you'll hopefully work into it. But thank you guys so much. If you like the video and me just kind of spreading awareness and reviewing this page, hit like to show support, comment down below with anything you'd like to say regarding this video, and subscribe if you're new here and would like to see more videos from me in the future and become a part of my Munchkin family. So I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.